Hey techies, so today I have a review of the Habit keyboard and I'll leave model numbers and everything down below or it should be showing up on the screen somewhere. This mechanical keyboard also features a backlit illuminated effect. So it's really great to use while you're indoors in a dark area or dark room or if you're just like typing or playing games at night. This is actually my first mechanical keyboard ever. Um, I really enjoy the sounds of the clicking of the keys and I think it inspires productivity. So I decided to pick one up after a long time. So I've had this type of keyboard for a couple months now and I'm, I really, really love it. It does have some pros and it does have some of its own cons, which I'll be going over in this video. And the reason why I waited so long to get a mechanical keyboard is mostly because I just thought it was a keyboard more aimed towards the gamer or the person that was always gonna be using it to program it, to work in their advantage while they're playing games. But it's actually been a really great keyboard that I prefer using over the stock keyboard on my MacBook. And whenever I'm at my desk, which is the main area where I use the keyboard, I really enjoy it and it's always really comfortable and easy to use. And I'll leave a link to it down below on Amazon just in case you wanna take a closer look at it or even buy one. So let's go ahead and get to the review portion of this video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Starting with setup, the Havit HP KB380L is a plug and play keyboard. You can customize the keys to work on supported OSs such as Windows, Mac, and Linux. The braided cord is a nice durable addition and it's a really good length just to reach from the front of your desk to your USB port. I definitely prefer this braided style over just the usual USB provided in most products because it does seem a little bit more flexible. Let's transition to this keyboard's builds. It's awesome for the price and when I was looking for a mechanical keyboard I was not only considering cost but more importantly durability. Overall this keyboard does have a nice little weight to it since it is made out of a metal base plus some heavy plastic for an overall sturdy feel. At bottom, you'll find anti-slip feet to prevent any slips or movements, plus keyboard legs. You can click these up and it'll give you a more elevated angle while you're typing. For myself, I do prefer using the keyboard at an angle instead of just flat on my desk, just to hit each key more accurately. Also, note that this keyboard doesn't have a built-in wrist rest, which may be a con for some. One of my favorite things are the keys right here at the top row. This keyboard provides music button keys, volume keys, a quick mail key, home key, and quite a few more. So I'm able to control different areas of my system without touching my mouse constantly. Finally, let's get to the keyboard functionality and features themselves. First things first, you may notice the rainbow light theme behind the keys. It's quite perfect for working at night or gaming at night. The lights don't shine as bright as I would like through each key. And sometimes I had trouble making out the keys at night, but alas, I've gotten used to it. This keyboard features all of your regular laid out keys, Plus, it's a full-size keyboard, so you are going to get that nice numpad on the right. Since this is a mechanical keyboard and it's quite heavy, I always use the Habit keyboard at my desk, along with my Logitech mouse and a black SteelSeries mouse pad, which in my opinion is a pretty great trio. The illuminated keys aren't super customizable as far as color options go. It only has this one central light that shines through. The simplest light option on this keyboard gives you three options for brightness. To activate the general option for lighting the keys, all you have to do is click through three levels of brightness, using the key to the right of the FN key. You have the option for completely off, medium, and high brightness. I always keep mine either completely off or on the full bright level, especially if it's at night. The next color option is a breathing effect. Here the colors will fade in and out depending on your choice. Not a huge fan of this option since it's kind of distracting. And lastly, you can decide how bright you want the LEDs to shine. There are four levels of brightness for this option and you can switch through these by holding function and page up to increase brightness or a page down to decrease brightness. If you are a gamer and are used to programming the WASD or the arrow keys during gameplay, these are actually customizable with this keyboard and you're able to change it up to your liking, which is a really great bonus. All the keys on this keyboard are detachable and you just do that by just literally pulling them off, but it's really great if you are a clean freak and you wanna clean up behind the keys or more importantly, if a key is broken, you can easily replace it simply by just detaching the key. Lastly, and most importantly, you might be wondering how the typing experience is.
So for me, coming from a flush and low raised keyboard to a mechanical keyboard has been pretty eye opening. The typing on this keyboard is so much more responsive. I barely had to do any customization to the keyboard to keep the layout as it is on my MacBook. The keys are nicely spaced out. I really enjoy that they're not super tight together because it provides a nice form of movement for my hands without making it too uncomfortable. And one last thing, here's just a test of the space key and the enter key. They do have a harsher sound when you click them and it's completely different from the rest of the keys on this keyboard and you can definitely tell the difference when typing. It's not extremely distracting but you do notice that. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review of this keyboard and don't think that you can't use it if you don't game because you definitely can. And leave a comment down below letting me know if you prefer just using your laptop keyboard, you don't need an extra keyboard for anything, or if you are interested or use a mechanical keyboard in your everyday computer use. I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video.